Hello everyone. I'm hoping you would like to go through the year stamping with me because that's exactly what we're going to do as we create our Perpetual Birthday Calendar Project Kit. Now what is a Perpetual Birthday Calendar? It's a calendar but without the specific days of the week so you can use it perpetually which means again and again. So it's the perfect solution for keeping track of birthdays each and every year. Now the great thing about our perpetual calendar, of course, is that you can decorate each month in true Stampin' Up! style. Let me quickly show you what is included in the kit. So when you open it, you'll find inside the cover right here that we have some instructions which will walk you through how to put the pages together. So don't throw that away, keep a hold of that. And then when you open the kit itself, you find that it is full of many great things. So you have a lot of accessories and then your paper goods. And I have the paper goods open right here uh, so that you can decorate each month. You'll have some extra things as well as you go forward. And one thing I've done in preparation is I've taken the sponge that comes with it and then I've cut it into pieces. You can actually cut it into as many pieces as you want. Doing it this way, I'm going to have eight pieces so that I can use them with different colors and not cross-contaminate my colors if I don't want to. Amazing, right, that you get all of these. Now this will be a great project for you and a group of your friends to make, and a demonstrator can provide the additional supplies you need. Now if you choose to do this on your own, in addition to the kit, we suggest that you also purchase the Perpetual Birthday Calendar stamp set that coordinates with it, and the following ink pads. Hello Honey, Pumpkin Pie, Crisp Cantaloupe, Strawberry Slush, Real Red, and Lost Lagoon, and that will give each page of your calendar a distinct look and gives you a really nice palette to work with. So let me show you how to put these pages together. So we are going to go ahead and start with January because, well, that's traditionally where the year begins. Uh, so you can see on the January page right here, we have some Hello Honey in ink. And it's uh, really easy to piece together. So I, a tip for you is to make sure that as you stamp your month name on your calendar that you make sure it coordinates with the right number of days in that month. So January does not end up with 28 days. I'm going to start with some Hello Honey ink. I'm going to ink up this kind of like, it looks like splotches. And I'm going to just do the bottom down there. You may want to stamp off a little bit depending on the intensity of the color you're using. Really simple right there. And then I'm going to add a little bit of glitter at the bottom. I'm going to do that by putting just a tiny dot of Tombow. I'll do that a couple times. And then I'll sprinkle on some glitter. And then after I do that, I'm going to pretend right here for sake of camera. I'll have some great little sparkle right there to the layering in the corner. So by stamping and stamping off, you get some really good layering and depth to your color. So let's advance now to February. Uh, this one, the colors we are using are real red and some strawberry slush. So I've already stamped in strawberry slush, our uh, real red there at the bottom. And so we're going to do some strawberry slush just to add some details. And then on top of that, we're using some of the little confetti heart stickers that come in the package itself. I'm going to stamp off once and then we will add some slash hearts. And again, it just gives you a little bit of layering and some depth to that. And then if you want to add even more, I'm going to take one of my sponge pieces and put that in my ink pad. And just do a little bit around the edges, which is just going to give me a little bit of a color pop right there as I go. So again, easy. It allows you to play around with the ink a little bit for some different looks. So there is February. March is done in some pumpkin pie and some Hello Honey. And at the top, I've just used this kind of sunburst stamp that comes in the stamp set. And then to get this yellow effect, I again would take another sponge and my Hello Honey and just go around. And then I'm going to layer on top of that with some of the embellishments that come in um, the kit. So you can see you get uh, the full alphabet. You get more than you'll need to go around and 
um, layer those pieces on there as you go through the months. Now the really great thing about this calendar is that it's easy to make so that if you are looking for a perfect gift you can give it as a raw product to somebody or if you really want to make it special you can decorate it and then put in people's birthdays so the work is done for them. Uh, April we're gonna do some crisp cantaloupe right here so the stamp comes with this fun uh, kind of watercolor swash that you can stamp on there. Um, really easy just to add that look so I'm going to stamp and then on the corner right there, just going to bring in a little bit of color and then I'm going to embellish that again with some glitter glue dots. Um, so you can see by doing kind of the same layer again, you get lots of different looks. Let's go ahead. I'm going to show you the rest of the months. Um, so here we have May with some Hello Honey, some Strawberry Slush. The May is in Lost Lagoon, the actual month right there. And then we will go to June, which of course typically comes after May. And we have some pumpkin pie, some crisp cantaloupe, some stamping off going just to get some different variations in the color. In July, we have some real red and some lost lagoon. And the real red stars come from the actual pack. There's some confetti and it matches the stamp set. So you get some great depth right there. In August, we have some crisp cantaloupe, some strawberry slush. We're using some of the fun sequins that come in the, the kit as well as the butterflies from the stamp set. In September, we have Lost Lagoon, some Hello Honey. October, Pumpkin Pie, some Hello Honey. And again, just the layering of the different stamp sets. Uh, in November, uh, the Pumpkin Pie, the Hello Honey, and this great glitter paper that comes in the pack. So that's a really nice pop on that page. And then in December, we have Lost Lagoon in Real Red. And then, of course, the set comes with this clipboard right here so that I can clip the current month and maybe post that in my office so I have everybody's birthday. Now, if you do give this as a gift, a great thing is that the box itself is gift ready. You can put some ribbon that comes included, the little tag that says the perpetual, perpetual birthday calendar, and you are ready to go. So contact your demonstrator today and arrange a time for you and your friends to take all the guessing out of when and who to celebrate. And as you make your calendar, make sure you include your name on your birthday so they can return the favor. Hey, thanks, everybody.